magandang araw sa ating lahat. And today we're going to continue on the overcoming series na inumpisahan ni Yel. So today, we are going to talk about how to overcome and what the Lord actually wants us to have in terms of our lifestyle so that we may be able to overcome. So, um, I'm just continuing on the definition na binigay ni Yel before. So, overcome, overcoming defined. So, it says here, uh, if it's a verb used with object, it means to get the better off in a struggle or conflict, conquer the, or defeat, to prevail over opposition, ability, temptation, etc. Surmount, to overpower or overwhelm in body or mind. Yung archaic niya is actually to overspread or overrun. Verb used without object uh, it's main, means to gain the victory, win, and conquer. So, the Bible is very clear that the Lord wants us to overcome and He has given us an overcoming spirit. He has given us the spirit of uh, timidity but of power, of sound mind and discipline. So, it's very important for us to realize how beautiful that uh, reality is. So, before we continue, let's pray. Panginoon, sa araw po na ito, ikaw lamang ang aming tinataas, pinupuri at pinapasalamatan. Inihiling ko po, Panginoon, ang kapangyarihan mo, uh, Lord Holy Spirit, to come upon everyone watching, Panginoon, this live stream. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will, Panginoon, show yourself to be very, very real. And that, Lord God, marireach mo, Panginoon, ng bawat isang nakikinig, Panginoon, from their screens. Whether it's a mobile phone, whether it's a computer, Heavenly Father, or whether it's being uh, uh, casted, Panginoon, via their te- televisions, Panginoon. I pray in Jesus' name that you will bless everyone with enthusiasm, Panginoon, yung eagerness, yung hunger, Panginoon, to listen to your word. Especially, Lord God, sa panahon that we need that overcoming spirit, that overcoming attitude because Lord God, we badly need your power and we badly need your presence. Lord Holy Spirit, ikaw po ang usap sa bawat isa. Kayo po ang magdala sa amin Panginoon that we may be able to focus on your word, listen to your goodness and grace, Heavenly Father and allow us Panginoon the beauty and the majesty, Lord God, to overcome today. I also pray that you will please reject and rebuke the work of the devil in our midst. Please render the devil powerless, ineffective, and operative. We pray, Lord God, that you will not allow the devil to interfere in anyone listening to your word today so that, Lord God, we will be able to do what we need to do today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, tuloy po natin ang ating pinag-uusapan. So, it's very important for us to understand how valuable uh, the Word of God is. So, I'm just continuing on with what Yel actually uh, shared with you uh, last Sunday. So, I'm taking it from the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 1 to 5, Amplified Version of the Bible. So, sabi rito, everyone who believes with a deep abiding trust in the fact that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One, is born of God. That is, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, and set apart for His purpose. And everyone who loves the Father also loves the child born of Him. Verse 2, By this we know, without any doubt, that we love the children of God, expressing that love when we love God and obey His commandments. For the true love of God is this, that we habitually keep His commandments and remain focused on His precepts. And His commandments and His precepts are not difficult to obey. Verse 4, For everyone born of God is victorious and overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has conquered and overcome the world. Our continuing persistent faith in Jesus, the Son of God, who is the one who is victorious and overcomes the world, it is the one who believes and recognizes the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. And may the Lord add power, majesty, conviction to the reading of His mighty, mighty word. Napaaganda po ng sinasabi ng 1 John chapter 5. Una po sa lahat ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, those who are born again believers, born of God, at sinabi rito, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed and set apart for His purpose, are the ones who can overcome the world because they have the Spirit of God. So you need to be in a relationship with Jesus Christ in order for you to receive that beautiful and wonderful overcoming Spirit. It's the power of the Holy Spirit when one receives Christ as Lord and Savior. Kaya nga sabi po ng Biblia, the Holy Spirit comes upon us when we receive Christ as Lord and Savior because He is the the awesome deposit, the good deposit, and He is the one who seals that relationship, that faith relationship with Jesus Christ. So, kailangan po natin ng kaagapay. 
Hindi natin kay kaya kaya mag-overcome ng world na mag-isa tayo. Hindi natin kaya mag-overcome ng mundong ito by using philosophies, by using understanding, by using positive thinking, by breathing in and breathing out, by exercising, by having a career. No. Cannot. We need Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We need the power of the Holy Spirit inside of us. We need to approach the throne of God the Father. We need to be reborn or born again in other versions of the Bible. Kaya napaka-importante po na maunawaan natin mga kapatid at mga naikinig ngayon, we need to have Jesus in our hearts. Kaya nga po ang isang tao, di ba, naghahanap tayo parati ng kasama. Naghahanap tayo ng kapartner. Naghahanap tayo nung mag-fill ng gap ng heart natin because there is that uh, gap that only God can fill and we try to fill that with other things. Having a relationship, having friends, having activities, having a goal, having a career path. But at the end of the day, ito ba yung nagbibigay sa atin ng overcoming spirit? Ito ba yung nagbibigay sa atin ng kapangyarihan para umiwas magkasala? Umiwas magsinungaling? Kung lalaki ka na magkaroon ka ng iisang partner, iisang asawa eventually. Hindi ka mang bababae. Hindi mo pagyayabang na nakailang halik ka sa iba't ibang, iba't ibang uh, babae and feeling mo hero ka. Hindi mo pagmamayabang yung pag-iinom mo, lasing ka the previous night and you go to the office the following day as if nothing happened. No. Those are too elementary and those are too superficial. And that is what we deem as cool according to the world. So sinasabi natin dito is this. We may have somebody who can lead us to Christ, but it is Jesus, our relationship with Him, and His power who will make us able to overcome the world by giving us that love. Kaya nga sabi dito, napaka-importante sa verse 3, For the true love of God is this, We habitually keep His commandments and remain focused on His precepts. So, isipin nyo na lang, ano mawawala sa iyo if you obey God? Ano mawawala? Nothing. But hindi siya ganun kasi kapapilar sa mundo. Eh. When we talk about God, we talk about Jesus, gumagano na kagad ng mga tao. Umaatras na kagad sa mga nakikinig dito sa bahay. Ilang beses na tayo nag-invite ng mga kasama natin sa bahay, mga kapatid natin, mga magulang natin, na hindi nauunawaan ang importansya ng Panginoon. Kung ano-ano sabihin nila, ah, masunog ako dun sa simbahan. Because they don't understand. Because they are lost. They are, they are hungry for something that they cannot find and fulfill their hearts with. Whatever that they do, it's an escape from the loneliness. It's an escape from the harsh reality of what they are experiencing. Kasi may, may kulang. Hinahanap nila yung, yung pagpuno dun sa kulang na only Jesus can. And when we receive the love of God, as we receive Christ as Lord and Savior, then we will be able to understand and overcome the world. Isipin mo, ang daming tao maporma. Bibili ng ilang sapatos, ipagyayabang. Diba? Ang motive niya, hindi para maprotektahan yung paa niya, o di kaya magamit niya to for purposes na magbibigay sa kanya ng, you know, uh, uh, better protection, or maaring pang exercise, o di kaya comfort. Hindi eh, kadalasan, bibili ang isang tao makamundo, yung walang relasyon sa Panginoon, ng isang bagay para ipagyabang. Para sa mga bumibili ng mga gadget, ng iPhone, bumibili kayo ng S20 or whatever, ano bang, ano bang dahilan? Ano bang motive? Kailangan ba talaga natin itong mga bagay na ito? Di ba, nagsusunog tayo ng pera para i-impress natin yung mga tao na wala namang paki sa buhay natin. And at the end of the day, sino ba mag-aalaga sa atin? Sino ba yung babalikan natin? Di ba, pamilya natin. Instead na mag invest tayo ng panahon sa, pana- sa pamilya natin, we will invest on gadgets to impress others na hindi naman natin talaga gusto yung mga taong yun. Diba? Pa-picture-picture pa tayo, diba? Kasi yun ang kalakaran ng mundo. Eh. That's why we don't overcome the world. At napaka-importante dyan, sabi dyan, kapag mahal mo ang Panginoon, hindi naman mahirap sundin ang Panginoon. Parang yung, pag may mahal ka, diba? Mahal mo yung asawa mo, mahal mo yung anak mo, diba? Pag nagkaroon ng mga request, nakakatanggi ka ba? Hindi ba ang gaang, ang swabe sundin sila? Ang daling pagbigyan. And when we love God, we will understand that it's not difficult to obey His commandments. Ano ba napakahirap sundin sa mga utos ng Panginoon? Ano ba? Sabi nila, eh hindi na ako makapagsigarilyo. Hindi na ako makapaglasing. 
Maganda ba sa katawan ng pagsisigarilyo? Maganda ba sa katawan ng paglalasing? Ay hindi na ako mga pagpuyat. Maganda ba sa katawan ng pagpupuyat? Ay hindi na ako mga pagdisko-disko. Hindi na ako maagimik-gimik. Ang, ang point dyan, sa mga nakaranas ng disco rito, I mean, ang, papano ka magkakaroon ng fulfillment sa lugar na ang mga kasama mo puro malulungkot kayo? At the end of the day, you just filled the gap of your time. You escaped loneliness. Pagkatapos mo mag-disco, pagkatapos mong gumimik, balik ka pa rin sa realidad. Malungkot ka pa rin. Nagahanap ka pa rin ng pangpuno doon sa hinahanap mong kulang kasi hindi nga siya mapufulfill ng mundong ito. No one and nothing in this planet can fulfill that gap. At anong sabi dyan? Sino raw nag-overcome sa mundo? It is the one who believes and recognizes the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. So, hindi popular ang sinasabi ko sa inyo ngayon. Number one, kasi the world is against it. Hindi pa kayo nagtataka, mas madaling mag-aasala. Diba? Sinasabi ng mundo ngayon, okay lang mag-live in. Diba? Sinasabi lang na kapag ang lalaki nakipagtalik sa napakaraming babae, parang hero siya ng mga kaibigan niya. Pero ang babae, pag nakipagtalik sa napakadaming lalaki, wala raw kwentang babae yun. Diba double standard? Bakit naging double standard? Because that's the way of the world. And the Bible says we will be able to overcome the world when we fully grasp and understand what the Lord wants us to do and what the Lord can give us. Tuloy natin. So if we combine 1 John chapter 5, verse 5 and the definition that we had uh, about what overcoming or overcome means, ito raw siya. We conquer, defeat, prevail, overpower, and overwhelm the world-ordered system, pattern, culture, beliefs, and superficiality. In other words, hindi tayo magpapadala sa agos. Hindi tayo magpapadala sa consumerism. Hindi natin susunugin ang pera natin sa mga bagay na bibilhin natin na hindi naman importante at hindi natin magagamit. Hindi tayo magsusunog ng panahon pumunta sa napakalayong lugar para lang ipagyabang sa mga kaibigan natin na napuntahan natin yung lugar na yun. Diba? Kaya nga, diba, famous ang Instagram. I mean, for those who are vloggers, that's fine. Pero kung ikaw, ordinary mamayan ka, ano bang motive mo? Bakit ka IG na IG? Bakit ka FB na FB? Bakit ka Twitter ng Twitter? What is your motive behind? And kadalasan, kung titignan natin yung psychological factor nito, papansin ka. Kasi may kulang. Hinahanap mo yung like, hindi ba? Diba? Hinahanap mo eh. Hinahanap mo na meron magda-like, may magko-comment na positive, at pag walang nag-like, walang nag-comment, o may nag-comment na binash ka, di ba masama ang loob mo? Bakit? Kasi hindi mo ina-expect yung ganun bagay. Kasi gusto mong ipakita sa kapaligiran mo na, hindi, okay ako, cool ako, di ba? That's pretentiousness at pagsisinungaling siya. Ina mo nga katabi mo, tanongin mo nga siya, anong motive mo pag nag-IG ka? Anong motive mo pag nag fb ka? Pag pinicturean mo yung pagkain na bago mo kainin. ba? Diba? Minsan nga, chicken joy na nga lang, pipicturean pa eh. Minsan nga, karinderian na nga lang eh. Masabi lang kumain sa labas. The point of the matter is this. We are all in a position of being lonely. We need to be needed. We want someone by our side. And we compromise. We... Uh, conform to the pattern, the belief system of the world. E eh, ano naman kung 30 anos ka na single ka pa rin? Tapos pinipressure ka ng mga magulang mo. Gusto ko na magkaapo. Eh mama, wala nga magkagusto eh. Gusto mo magkaapo. Ang point kasi dito is this. Why do we pressure people into doing that? Why do we ask them to do something na we want? Diba? That's the pressure of the world eh. Kaya nga sinasabi dito, we conquer, we defeat, we prevail, we overpower, and overwhelm the world ordered system. Pattern, culture, beliefs, and superficiality. Paano pagsisunungaling? Anong mawawala sa'yo pa nagsabi ka ng totoo? Hindi ba hanggang sa pakiramdam? Nasasabihin nila, kaya nga kailangan magsinungaling para hindi makasakit eh. Di ba mas masakit pag pinagsisunungaling ang ka? Marami mga magulang na nagtatago ng mga lihim about yung nakaraan o about yung kasalukuyan. Yung sabi nila, we want to protect our children. But it's not the right thing. It's better to be transparent. But the world says it's okay to lie. The world says it's okay to pretend. 
the world says it's okay to put a brave face. Diba? Huwag kang iiyak, lalo na kung lalaki ka. But imagine the Lord gave us tears. And there are two types of tears according to this uh, uh, study. One is the tears of joy, okay, which the composition of the tear is practically salt and water. And there's the tears of anguish, of pain, of difficulty. And the composition is toxic, sabi nga nila. Because it's the way the body copes with grief. Kaya nga binigyan tayo ng gift. A gift of tears to cry and to deal with it and to be released. That's how beautiful and wonderful God is. Ang mga tunay na lalaki umiiyak sa appropriate na pagkakataon. Diba? Hindi yung naturukan ka ng, ano, ng vaccine tas umiyak ka na tas 28, 28 years old ka unless na you are so um, tawag dito uh, sensitive in terms of pain. But no. No. You know, the world says, prove something. You've got to prove something. Kailangan yung mama ka, kailangan magkakotse ka. Kung kulot ka, kailangan makapagpariband ka. Diba? Yung damit mo, kailangan magara, Kailangan yung pabango mo. Mga Calvin Klein, ganyan. Uh, huwag ka mag-juban mask, diba? Ang sinasabi ng mundo, bumili ka ng tag wear. Diba? Bumili ka ng J-Shock. Bumili ka ng mga uh, smartwatches. Hindi ba puro pamporma? Bakit? Bakit? Anong kailangan mong patunayan? But that's the way the world actually makes you sink deeper in loneliness. Because none of those things work. And you tried it, you spend it, spend money on it, and then you find yourself still where you are at. And that's the world. And that's something that the Lord does not want us to pursue. So the Bible is very clear that the Lord wants us to overcome the world's culture and values. Yung mga mali sa kultura natin, yung mga mali sa value system natin na like consumerism, yung proving something to yourself, tapos wealth as being the indicator of success, no? No. Um, naalala ko tuloy, you know, we normally tell our children uh, general consensus of culture, get an education so that you will have a better future. We don't tell them the blueprint to be happy, to be content. We don't give them the the uh, the precepts, the guidelines kung paano pumili ng ng maayos na kaibigan o maayos na asawa. O paano raw maghanap ng asawa? Hindi na matino eh, yung may kaya. Yun ang hinahanap nila eh. Yung masisecure ka for life, yung maging practical ka. That's how the world actually dictates. Kung yun lang ang pursuit ng mundo, about having relationship, then it's not worth it after all. Kaya sabi ng Biblia, sabi dyan, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies, dedicating all of yourselves set apart as a living sacrifice, holy and well-pleasing to God, which is your rational, logical, intelligent act of worship. Verse 2, And do not be confirmed to the world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes so that you may prove for yourselves what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect in His plan and purpose for you. Yun ang sabi ng Romans 12, 1 and 2, Amplified Version. Think about a value system that values others and values yourself. Pag tinitignan natin yung mundo, di ba, ang ginagawa nito, it frustrates us. It leads us to further and deeper pain. Yun yun eh. Kasi, nag-IG ka, bumili ka ng cellphone, nag-IG ka, walang nag-like. Nagkatry ka mag-blend in sa mga kaibigan mo, only yung mga kaibigan mo, dahil hindi nga sila mati ng mga kaibigan, they betray you, they lie to you. They don't tell you, uh, honestly, ano yung feedback that they can actually give you so that you may develop. Meron tayong mga kaibigan, hinahatak tayo yung pababa kasi hindi sila successful. Therefore, they don't want you to be successful. They don't tell you the truth so that you will be in the same bubble. Pare-pareho lang tayo. Mas magandang puro miserable tayo. I remember one conversation I had with one of my office mates and then naging grupo kami and we were talking about satisfaction sa married life. And they were saying na ito yung mga uh, ginagawa nila to be satisfied, blah, blah, blah. And everything had had money expenses in it. Yun yung involvement. Magbakasyon, ibili yung asawa ng ganito, bumili ng ganyan, 
uh, mag-pursue na bumili ng bahay, everything has expense out. And we were just talking about material things. And material things is never proven to give you joy. It may ha- lead you to happiness for a moment, pero it does not lead you to eternal joy. So, yun yung nangyayari sa mundo natin. Kaya ang daming magkakautang, kailangan niya magtrabaho kasi may binabayaran siyang bahay, may binabayaran siyang kotse. Samantalang sinasabi ng Biblia, you can be debt free. You can have a life that can actually lead you to life, joy, and satisfaction. Malalim na pagpapala, malalim na pananaw, malalim na value system. Isang aspect ng buhay that money can never ever buy. It's intrinsic. And sinasubstitute ng mundo yung mga bagay na yun eh. But kung meron kang joy, kailangan mo bang gumalat? Kung meron kang joy, kailangan mo bang gumastos? Kung totoo ba ang pag-ibig niyo mag-asawa, hindi ba mag-uusap kayo? And you will be able to tell about the limitations. Walang magtatago eh. Ang daming mga kilala kong mag-asawa nagsisinungaling with each other. Nagtatago, hindi niya alam si asawa umutang pala, kay ganito, kay ganyan. And they, they found out eventually. And they are badly in debt kasi puro interest na inabot. And there are children who will lie to their parents. Walang unity yung bahay. And eventually, maghihiwalay. Iiwan yung bata at a certain age. Maybe they are already teenagers or even not. So, nasisira yung, yung pamilya. Nasisira yung mga tao. Isipin mo na lang, kung ikaw nagkaroon ka ng anak, tas kayong mag-asawa naghiwalay, anong impact nun dun sa bata? Sana hindi ka na lang nag-anak. Diba? But that's the value system of the world eh. Sinasabi ng mundo na magkaroon ka ng kalibin, magkaroon ka ng anak para matuwa yung mga in-laws mo kung nagpakasal kayo o matawa, matuwa yung magulang mo kasi nagkaapo. Pero where does that lead? It normally leads to pain. It leads to destruction because there is no Jesus in the middle of it. Ang gulo-gulo ng buhay. Ang gulo-gulo, ang hirap-hirap. Gusto mo nalang magpakamatay kaya marami nagpapakamatay. Gusto mo nalang takasan kaya marami nagdodroga, marami naglalasing. Kasi pa na- na- nalasing ka, nakakalimutan mo pa ng dalian yung problema. Magtatawa na kayo pag uusapan nyo nung, yung mga bagay nung high school pa kayo, kung mga high school friends mo, kung college friends mo yung kausapan mo about college, kung mga work workmates mo yan about work. You always go back, you always go back, you always go back. You know, don't go forward. You don't go forward. You don't go forward because the, the, the world wants you to go back to the pain, to the destruction, to the anguish, to the misery, and even sa successes and joy. Ang sarap pagkwentohan. And that is why we should never ever allow ourselves, never ever allow ourselves to conform to the pattern of this world. Next, sabi dyan, Maraming taong takot. Kalabitin mo nga yung tao sa katabi mo. Takot ba yan? May takot ba yan? Natakot ba yan? Ano kinakatakutan? Tanungin mo nga. I mean, di ba? Alala ko tuloy nung bata ako. Sa bahay namin, sa Topacio, may ano ron, may maraming mga bubuyog kasi may pulupukyutan dun sa amin. So, nagsisigawan yung mga pinsan ko at nagtatakbuhan dahil sa maliit na bubuyog. Maliit. Yan, parang ganyan. Ang lalaki namin, imagine mo, sa tatakbuhan kami, irrational. Ang dami natin mga bagay na hindi sinusubuhan kasi takot tayo. And the Bible says, there is one way to overcome fear. Sabi sa, ano, sa 1 John chapter 4, verse 18 to 19, there is no fear in love. Dread does not exist, but perfect, complete, full-grown love drives out fear. Because fear involves the expectation of divine punishment. So the one who is afraid of God's judgment is not perfected in love, has not grown into a sufficient understanding of God's love. We love because He first loved us. Sinasabi dito, yung mga taong hindi pa naka-receive kay Christ as Lord and Savior, who are fearful of the judgment of God, especially eternal destination. Kaya nga marami nagpapanggap na walang heaven, walang hell, para yung mindset nila, ma-justify nila yung uh, their lack of a need for God. Pero sinasabi dito, if you have God, and the love of God is perfected, you are fearless. You will do everything that God wants you to do. Yes. Yun ang sabi ng Biblia. And that's amazing. But if you don't have God, you don't have Jesus, most likely you are fearful. 
Maraming takot pumunta sa church. Maraming takot sa katotohanan. Ayaw nila marinig yung totoo. Kaya nga maraming ayaw magpacheck eh sa sa clinic kasi they are fearful of what they may have contracted. And they don't want the reality of that hanging over their heads. Alam nilang there's something wrong but they will not come to the point of confirming that because they are fearful. And ang daming nagagawa ng fear sa buhay natin. We fear to lose a loved one. And it limits our capability and transparency because we try to hold on to the people that we love because we fear that one day we will lose them because we don't have that relationship kay God. And we fear dying alone. We fear making mistakes. We fear failing. Ayaw natin magmuha tayong tanga o magmuha tayong failure. We just want to succeed. And ang dami-dami natin ginagawa ang mga bagay na mali. Because we are afraid. Because we don't have the love of God. We don't experience the love of God. Kaya nga, true love drives away all fears. Imagine kung meron kang ganong klaseng level ng pag-ibig sa puso mo. Wala kang takot. Because you have God. Tanong yung mga katabi mo dyan sa bahay nyo, kung nasaan ka man, do you, do you fear? Anong kina... Saan ka na natakot? Saan ka na natakot? And then repeat after me. Perfect love, perfect love, drives away all fears. Ulit natin. Perfect love, drives away all fears. And that's true. That's amazing. That's beautiful. And that's wonderful. Today, you have heard the message of God. And it's simple. He wants you to receive Him as Lord and Savior if you have not yet. And when you receive Him as Lord and Savior, you will have the power to overcome the world. And you will have the power to be fearless, to try new things, to do great, magnificent things. Alam niyo, ang daming negosyante na hindi nagnegosyo kasi natakot malugi. Ang daming mga taong hindi nag-engineering kasi ayaw nilang bumagsak dahil takot sila. Ang dami mga taong hindi nila pinursu ang passion nila dahil takot sila sa mga magulang nila at nagsettle sila doon sa mga bagay na practical na hindi nakakatulong. And today, I would like you to realize that these things can be overcome. Yes. So right now, Why don't you close your eyes and bow down your heads wherever you are listening in. And I encourage you, if you are ready to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, wherever you are, can you just lift up your right hand? Taas mo lang yung kanang kamay mo. And just repeat after me this prayer. First of all, why don't you just ask God for forgiveness for every sin that you are reminded of? Lahat ng kasalanan na naaalala mo. Yes. Ngayon magpasalamat ka because through Christ alone, you can be forgiven of sins. And right now, just repeat after me. Enough na maririnig mo yung sarili mo. Just come right now and just receive Christ as Lord and Savior. Sabi mo sa kanya, Jesus, Please come into my heart. Please come into my life. I need you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer sincerely, notice you are saved and you will have the power to overcome the world and you will have the opportunity to experience the perfect love of God. Yes. Yan ang totoo. Yan ang mangyayari sa'yo. Hallelujah. And you will enter paradise when you die physically. Sa mga Kristiyano na who are dealing uh, in difficulty right now in loneliness, in pain, in suffering because of wrongdoings, you are enslaved by a life of lies or sin. 
na nakalimutan mo na yung ministry mo. Nakalimutan mo na na once upon a time you were active sa church, you were heavily involved. Do you remember the difference of your heart? Yung joy na meron ka? Na-imagine mo ba yun? Na-realize mo yung pagkakaiba ng buhay mo during that time and where you are today. Today, I encourage you. May the love of God grow perfectly sa buhay mo. Now, I would like to ask you right now, as a sign of your surrender, as a sign of your surrender, to lift up that right hand of yours before the Lord. Then just tell God, you want to come back. You want to serve Him. You want to be 100% committed to Him. And you want to overcome the world. Na sa araw na to, tapos na ang pagkapanggap. Na gusto mo ng isang tabi, lahat ng hirap, hinagpis. Yung pain that you are enduring because of mistakes, bad choices. Sabi nga ng Biblia, Come to me, all who you are weary and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Take my burden for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Ang sabi ng Panginoon. And then right now, just find the release. Just imagine the Lord tinatanggal na yung tanikala. Tinatanggal niya yung nakakasakal. Yung entanglement ng kasalanan. Pinapagaang niya yung laman ng puso mo at isipan. Na even now, kaya mo magpatawad. Why don't you release forgiveness sa mga taong dapat mong patawarin? Sa sabi ng mundo, wag magpatawad. Di sabi mo magpatawad. And right now, why don't you find that release? Why don't you find your healing? Why don't you find the Lord that you have been so far away from? Sabi ni David, where can I go from your spirit? If I climb to the heavens, you are there. If I go to the depth of the sea, you are there. We can never escape the spirit of the living God because we are his children. And just like the parables of the prodigal son, he awaits our return. Kung ito yung araw ng pagbabalik mo, bumalik ka na sa kanya, please. Walang mawawala sa'yo. Wala. And you can help build the church. You can help advance God's kingdom. But more than that, you can help yourself regain that joy, that love, that hope, that energy. Gain back that peace, the contentment that goes with a deeper and wonderful relationship with God. I release healing, Lord God, unto these people. I release revival, Father. By the cross of Calvary, by the blood of the Lamb, may they find you and may they come back to you. In Jesus' name. And of course, we are we are continuously encouraging all SNJ active ministers to partake of our goal to have 120 active ministers. Sa mga tiga SNJ jan, sabi mo kung nasaan man ikaw, 120 active ministers. Sabi mo gusto kong makisale, gusto kong makatulong, gusto kong mapamahagi ang pag-ibig ng Panginoon. And that's right. All you need to do is just to uh, do what you need to do. And that is just to obey the Lord. At sabi sa napag-usapan natin a while ago, if we love God, 
uh, His commands are not burdensome. So I would like to read to you Matthew 24, 9-14 in NLT version. Sabi dyan, Then you will be arrested, persecuted, and killed. You will be hated all over the world because you are my followers. And many will turn away from me and betray and hate each other. And many false prophets will appear and will deceive many people. Sin will be rampant everywhere and the love of many will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. And the good news about the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world so that all nations will hear it and then the end will come. This is the price that we have to pay as true believers, as true uh, worshipers of Jesus. At huwag natin nga kalimutan mga kapatid, mga kasama, this is the time that we can actually ano, uh, do these things while we are here on this planet. So I'm encouraging every SNJ active minister right now, every SNJ attendee to to build this this uh, 120 active minister goal together united in one mind in one spirit and in one love so isipin natin mga asama that even if nandito tayo sa ganitong klaseng situation we can continuously share the videos share the live stream share the picture quotes so that we may be able to build that 120 active ministers and bring the gospel of peace sa mga taong nangangailangan nito Especially, they need Jesus, they need that love, they need to overcome the world so that they may be saved. And lastly, if you are a believer right now and you don't have any church and uh, you would like to explore the possibility of being part of SNJ, uh, you can um, uh, message us and we will have that conversation. So everyone, I thank you for the time that you have allotted and may the Lord bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye for now.